Yes? Did you talk about uh, how we should think about genealogies? So Genesis 5 gives an age out of the 109 years. Um, is that also an archetypal thing? Okay, genealogies. The question was, so how do we read genealogies? Well, we want to read them in their cultural river, not ours. You would guess that I would say that. Now, that, that's important because it's very easy for us. We know what our genealogies do and how they work and how you're supposed to read them and what information they give. We're used to that. Okay, but we can't assume that they think the same way that they use genealogies the same way, that they work them the same way, that they're for the same reasons. We can't assume that. We have to go back into the cultural river and find out what we can about genealogies in the ancient world and read them in light of that. Now, beyond just genealogies, it's important that we understand how they use numbers. Not all societies and cultures use numbers the same way. Certainly, many societies use them to quantify. And we use it almost only to quantify. But other cultures, that's not the case. A good example. I had a friend that was in Indonesia, and he was traveling around to some of the villages. And he was in a particular village, and they had a, a village gathering. And a woman was introduced to speak, and she was introduced as a 40-year-old woman. Of course, he, he immediately thought, wow, they wouldn't do that in our cultural river, uh, introduce a woman by her age. But at any rate, there it was. And so he listened. The woman was clearly respected and was considered wise and, and all of this. And so he just kind of tucked that away. Two years later, he went back to the same village. And the same woman was introduced in a village gathering. And she was introduced as a 50-year-old woman. He said, wait one minute. You know, I can look at my calendar. I was here just two years ago, and she was a 40-year-old woman then. She can't be a 50-year-old woman now. Okay, so he, he had a chance to talk to the woman, and he asked her about it. He says, I don't understand. She said, that's right, you don't. <laughs> he says, well, how can it be? She said, that 40-year-old woman and 50-year-old woman has nothing to do with my age. Really? She says, yeah, that's how we designate status in the community. And it has nothing to do with how old a person is. It has to do with the status they have in a community. And later on that day then, he wasn't um, horrified when they introduced him as a 50-year-old man, even though he was only 35. Different cultures use numbers different ways. They may have a rhetorical use of numbers, and you just don't get that until you kind of get into their texts and understand them. Okay, so I'm not going to jump to the conclusion that those genealogies are even acting as genealogies the way we use them or that those numbers are working the way we use them. I wouldn't know that until I get into their cultural river.